Good evening. Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, compañeros. Hola, hola, muy buenas. Hoy regreso para recoger algunas. Están. ¿Qué tal de miércoles? Aquí ya listos, teacher, para iniciar con buenas energías el, la clase. Eso. ¿Usted qué tal? ¿Cómo le ha ido? Bien, tranquilo. A ver. Ah, ok. Good evening. Hello. Buenas noches, compañera. ¿Qué tal? Señor? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Mucho bien. Hola, ¿me escuchan bien? Sí. Hoy comenzamos la segunda semana, módulo, okay, we start the second week, so unit two, we're going to start with unit two. Todos hayan terminado las tareas, ¿verdad? Quiero ver, quiero ver. Este hombre ya va a ser bilingüe. Quiero ver, tengo una. Bueno, esta chica nunca se presentó, dos tampoco. Tres. Bueno, chicos, entró. Cuatro. Bueno, de los que han estado en la clase, pues solo uno. Otros que, que han dejado su nota en 80. No sé si porque no han hecho la quinta tarea. O eso les arrojo ya por todo. Hay alguna que la pueden mejorar mejor. Esta? Eh, 
de ahí los demás sí tienen 100. Así que eh, la tarea la pueden hacer cuantas veces sea necesario hasta que obtengan la nota que ustedes deseen, ¿verdad? Eh, varias veces. Bueno, vamos a let's start let's start with the first attendance of the evening. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Okay, when you listen to your name. Start with Anacelia Mena. Is she here? Uh, Marcela Siu. Present. Okay, welcome. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Ha llegado todavía. Diana Vanessa López. Yet. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar. The 10 minutes at the end of the class are with you tonight. Okay. 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 Gracias. Edith Maritza, Fernando Salvador. Fernando Salvador Figueroa, not here today. Yeah, Fernando. Present. Okay. Erson Orlando Deodanes. Present. Good. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present, teacher. Okay. Irma Mercedes Flores. Iván Alberto Castillo. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Jocelyn. Present. Okay. Manuel Alberto Mena. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present teacher. Good. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Yet. Raúl Campos. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Yet. Lizette Pérez, never showed up, and Josué Valmore Cruz. Josué Valmore, Jet. Ok. Alguien que ya no estaba cuando mencioné. Present teacher, yo, Diana. Diana Vanessa. Ok. Sí. Okay. ¿Alguien más? Esa... Yo también, Ana Celia. Okay, Ana Celia. Pero voy de camino. Oh, muy bien. Ok. Well, tonight we're going to start with unit two. Here. Okay. Unit two. In this unit, 
we'll be talking about ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. So this is activities that are taking place at your workplace, at your company, at your office, or your business, okay? Uh, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to say how frequently you do an activity in your workplace. So today we're, we are going to talk about frequency of activities. How frequently you do an activity at work. For example, there are a couple of questions here. The first question says, how often do you check your email at work? How frequently? That is the question about the frequency. Uh, to check your email at work. How often do you check your email at work? I don't know, you can, you can, you write your answer in the chat, please. Once a, once a day, you say once a day. That is, una vez, one time, once a day, or twice a day, so two times a day, I don't know. How often do you check your email at work? Every hour? Um, Jocelyn says around six times a day. Okay. What about the others? How often do you check your email at work? Miguel says three times a day. Huh? All right. Okay, let's do something. Let me start with uh, Marcela. Marcela, how often do you check your email at work? I check my email five, five times a day. Okay, please. Ask the same question to another student. Um, Edgar, how often do you check your email at work? Twice, twice in the day. Okay, twice a day, good. Okay, Edgar, ask the question to another student. Um, Rafael, how often do you check your email at work? Rafael is not here. Ha llegado, Rafael. Alguien más? Another student. Um, Celia. Okay, but Celia How? is on the way home, so. Oh, sí, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. um, wait me, wait me. Um, <laughs> quiero ver. Eh, el compañero, teacher, el compañero eh, que, que es ingeniero, ¿cómo se llama? Que se me olvida el nombre de algunos compañeros who is it I don't remember <laughs> ah ok ya aquí, aquí. Andrea Andrea ok Andrea how often do you check your email, email at work I check my email twice a day ok continue Andrea eh, vamos a ver Oscar, 
How often do you check your email at work? I check every time in my work. Okay, continue. Um, Miss Margarita, how often do you check your email? Five times a day. Thank you. Herson. Okay, ask the question, Margarita. Okay. How often do you check your email at work, Herson? I check my email twice a day in the morning and twice a day in the night. Okay, continue her. So, okay. Miguel Angel, how often do you check your email at work? I check my emails three times a day. Good, continue. Um, Josué, how often do you check your email at work? I check my email all the time. Continue. Okay. Johnny. Hi. How often do you check your email? Six times uh, a day. Okay. Continue, Johnny. Okay. Now, Jocelyn. How often do you check your email at work? No se le escucha, yo. I check. My email times a day. Okay. Seems that your connection is kind of slow. Okay, Jocelyn, continue with someone else. cannot hear you. The microphone, Joseph. Oh, I think you have internet um, problems. Um, okay, now. Okay, let, let me continue because you have some internet problems. Okay, what about, um, who's missing here? Blanca. How often do you check your email, Blanca, at work? Todos los días, very... Every day. Every day. Every day. Okay. Okay, people. Very good. And the other question is, how often do you attend meetings? How often do you attend meetings? Okay, let me ask some of you only. Um, 
What about you? Uh, yeah, in the camera. Okay, what about you, Irma? How often do you attend meetings? Oh, she's in a meeting today right now. What about you, Diana? How often do you attend meetings? Ten mm, meetings. Uh, What's wrong? Is it my internet? Your your internet. Uh, Manuel, how often do you attend meetings? I attend meeting weekly. Okay. Good. Fernando, how often do you attend meetings? Um, uh, two. Yeah. Uh, espérame. ¿Cómo sería una vez por semana? Once a week. One, once a week. Once a week. Okay, very good. Let's take a look to this conversation between John and Anne. Okay. Let me read the conversation. Let me do something. Okay, I'm going to record the conversation. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, ahí les queda. No, oh, mm -hmm. let me read it again and we are going to listen one more time. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Uh, well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Now please repeat after me. How often do you check your email? How often, How often do you check, check, your, your, email? Email. check your email? Every two hours, and you? Every, Every two hours, hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Why? Well, I try well, to check it, I try as, to often check as, it as, as often as I can. As often as I can. And how often do you, how call, often do you call your clients? <laughs> call your clients. <laughs> I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? 
I often I call, often call, call, call them once a week on Monday. On Monday. Well, I usually, usually call, call them on Friday. Friday. Usually they order. Do you call clients on Friday, Friday to check the order? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, yes, I, I always call them first thing in the morning. In the I morning. believe I believe it's important to have contact with important them all the time. To have contact with them. I'll... You are right. You are right. You are right. You are right. Okay. You are right. Now I am John and you are Anne. Okay. Yeah. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in the year. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. How often do you call your clients? I often call them I once a week on Monday. I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. All right. right. Now you are John and I am Anne. You begin. One, two, three. Yes. How, how, how often do you email? check your email? email? Every, two Every two hours. You? Well, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, yes. I, I always call always them the first, first thing in the, in the morning. morning. I, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Then all the time. You're right. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to practice the conversation. I'm going to put you in small groups to practice the conversation. And then, you are going to respond these questions. Questions one and two. Okay, how often does Anne check her email? And number two, why is it important to check the email every day? Okay, so practice the conversation and respond these questions. Okay. Ready for the groups? Give me a second because okay. Okay, please join your groups and uh, join your groups, please practice the conversation and respond to questions. See you in 10 minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Time to check your conversation. Get my my pen. Okay, uh, let's start with Andrea and her song. Please present the conversation. Okay. There you are. Okay, lights, camera, action. How often do you check your emails? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as, as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check it their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see if Ana Maria and Oscar. Lights, camera, action. El, el micro. <laughs> sorry, sorry, estaba emocionado. Ahí. <laughs> How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Pero la cosa en serio. Hey, hey, <laughs> no me quite la inspiración ahí. Eh, donde iba. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you you call your client? Hey, no, me no es burle, no ve mi pronunciación. No, es que creo que se no creo que se le ha olvidado cerrar el micrófono. Sí, silencio, los dicho. Rodrigo. No hay quién es. Rodrigo tiene el ruido. Es Rodrigo. Ah, okay. Okay. Ahí está. ¿Le, le damos otra vez o, o yes, empezamos? Vaya, dele, dele. Okay. dele. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, Edgar and Glenda Margarita, please. A su señal, teacher. Right, camera, action. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check as often as I can. Um, How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their in order, do you call clients? Yes, I always can, sorry. Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Perfect, very good. Now please, Josue and Miguel Angel. Lights, camera. Action. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? 
Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Perfect, very good. Now, Blanca and Diana. Right, okay. camera, action. How often do you check your email? Every two, every two, you work and do. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you. And finally, Johnny and Joseph. Hi. Ready? Lights, camera, action. How often do you how often do you check your email? I think Jocelyn is having internet issues. Hago los dos yo entonces. Okay, now let me see. Alguien. Oh, Manuel, are you there? Okay. Okay, Johnny and Manuel. Okay, how often do you charge your email? Every two hours, uh, and you? Well, I try to check it as often like, as I can. Uh, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them uh, once a week on Monday, but I you? usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I will call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thanks. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, just let me show some words. First thing, I wanna check this. Okay, when we have this combination, we have to, to uh, join the sound. Tiene que unir los sonidos. Okay, I try to check it. Check it. Okay, unimos acá, verdad? El check it. Tenemos que unir esto de acá, ¿no? Um, igual con otro tipo de ejemplo si es... then um yeah but with with it get it get it or this take it take it Give it, give it. Okay, so I can, uh, you have to put the two sounds together. Like you need los sonidos, okay? I try to check it, I try to check it as often as I can. Okay, then uh, another word, I'll just this. Algunos por ahí decir, cow, yes. Or on call. Call. Aquí está también. All. Yeah. All. Call. All. Call. 
these words. Check it. All usually clients important all. Okay. Then, well, actually this, pero la mayoría la dijo bien, es pueden escuchar some, sometimes you hear often. That's correct. But in fast English, we say often, often. How often do you check your email? How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week. They are often. Teacher. Uh-huh. Could you let me do the conversation? Oh, sure. Jocelyn, are you Jocelyn? Yes. Okay. I have to change my connection. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Yes. Esa palabra, perdón, esa palabra, eh, se, o sea, es, 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 es válido que digamos oft, often o often. Ah, es válido yeah. las dos. Las dos, oh, las dos. Las dos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, Michelle. Hola. ¿Cómo se dice horas? No lo pronuncio. Oh. Hours. 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 Okay. Okay. Hours. Ok, let's see. Um, Fernando and Jocelyn, can you practice the conversation, please? Okay. Are you there? Ok, thank you. Okay, lights, how, camera, uh, action. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the orders. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Hey, very good. What is first thing in the morning? I always call them first thing in the morning. Como lo primero que hace en la mañana. Yes. Es lo primero que hace en la mañana. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now, how often does Anne check her email? Uh -huh, people, how often she does... checks her email uh -huh. every two hours. Ah, okay. Her email every two hours. Teacher, yes. and uh -huh. in this uh -huh. case, uh -huh. no sería, she checks uh -huh. her email. Oh, or solo yes. check. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, very good. You're right. Checks her email every two hours. Okay. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> these are different opinions. Why is it important to check the email every day? What do you think, people? Why? Is it? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Because it is important to have contact with them all the clients. All the time. Okay. This is more your opinion. What do you think? Give me your opinion. Why is it important in our everyday? To receive uh, the important information. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Another reason. Why do you check your email every day? It is important because it's help help in sales. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me, why do you check your email every day? In my case, because I share a, a lot of information uh -huh. by email. Okay. Uh -huh. Why do you check your email every day? And respond to customers who have questions. Okay. Good. Anything else? Okay, very good. Now, let's take a look to this uh, frequency advert. Let me share the screen. Okay, to talk about the frequency of activities, we use what we call frequency adverbs. We use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Okay. And we have these common frequency adverbs. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, Occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Let me record the pronunciation of them here in WhatsApp. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay, these are frequency other. Always means 100% of the times. Always. 100% of frequency. Okay, give me a moment. Usually is 90% of frequency. Normally, it's an 80% of frequency. Often, around a 70% of frequency. So, fifth, uh, sometimes it's like a 50% of frequency. Occasionally, it's like a 30%. Seldom, it's like a 10%. Hardly ever, it's like a 5% and never. 
Okay, these numbers are just representative, okay? They are not exact. Just to give you an idea of the frequency of an event. Tell me, Andrea. What does mean seldom in Spanish? Okay, seldom is like um, rara, rara vez, yeah. rara vez, algo así. Rara vez. Rara veces. Casi yeah. no se usa en español eso. Well, maybe not. Mm. Y rarely es como se podría traducir igual. Yeah. Muy raro, rara vez. Thank you. The early, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa? Early ever. Hardly. Hardly ever. Ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Is casi nunca. Prácticamente nunca. Si sí, uno en español no usa ese vocabulario. Yeah. Nada de ese nombre. En inglés es muy Sí, sí. Okay, so let me read the sentences and then we are going to practice the Okay, I will record the sentences in WhatsApp as well. Teacher attends. Attendance. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's take the second attendance and then we will continue. Okay, uh, um, Ana Celia Mena. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Good. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Perfect. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Okay. Diana Vanessa López. Present teacher. Okay. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Good. Did Maritza Gómez. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Mercedes Flores. Irma Mercedes Flores. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present teacher. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Okay. Manuel Alberto Mena. Present. Good. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Raúl Enrique Campos. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Okay. Analice Pérez y Josué Balmore Cruz. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to record the sentences in WhatsApp. Listen. I always get up at five o'clock. Um, usually, he usually drives to work. Normally, she normally checks her email. Often, I often have breakfast at work. Sometimes, she sometimes uses the microwave. Occasionally. 
I occasionally work overtime. Seldom. We seldom take calls at work. Hardly ever or rarely. He rarely has conferences. Never. I never get late to work. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. Always. 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 I always get up at five o'clock. I always get up at five o'clock. Usually. 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 He usually drives to work. He usually, he usually drives, drives to work. work. Normally. 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 She normally checks she normally her email. Check. She, she normally, normally checks email. 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 Often. 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 I often have breakfast at work. I, I often have breakfast at work. work. Sometimes. 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 She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. microwave. Occasionally. 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 I occasionally work over time. I occasionally work over time. Over time. Seldom. 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 We seldom take calls at work. We seldom take calls at work. Hardly ever. Rarely. Hardly ever. Rarely. He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conferences. Never. 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 I never get late to work. I never, I never get, get late to work. Okay. Any question with this, people? If you observe, usually when we talk about frequency and we use frequency adverbs, we are keying in present. Okay, so this is present. Because you are talking about your, like your routine, your habits. So that's why commonly we are going to use present tense, simple present, when we use frequency alpha. Okay. Now, your turn, says here. Write activities about you using always, um, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Okay, for example, let me write an example about me. Uh, I always Drink coffee for breakfast. Yeah. And donut. Donut. <laughs> Do In September. Yeah, something like this, okay? Write sentences about you. Is always, with often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Okay? Real information. Try to try to write real information about you. Okay, I'll give you ten minutes to do that individually. So when you finish, please raise your virtual hand to show me that you finished. Go ahead.
I'll put you to working groups. I want you to share your sentences with your classmates, okay? Okay, join your groups, please, and talk about your activities. Read your sentences.
Okay, please, uh, I want you to tell me two sentences, okay? Everyone is going to give me two sentences. Okay, let's start with uh, Glenda Margarita. Sí, maestro. Todas. Two, only two. Perfect. I always drink coffee without sugar. I never drink whiskey and party. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, pass the ball, Glenda. Mm, seguiría compañero Miguel. Hey, Miguel. Um, I sometimes I forget drink water. Uh, I never ride my motorcycle uh, without my helmet. Okay, good. Pass the ball, Miguel. Um, Andrea, Carolina. Okay. Um, I often take a shower at night. I hardly ever eat fish. Okay. Next, Andrea. Mm, Rodrigo. Uh, I think Rodrigo is busy. Someone else, Andrea. Uh, Manuel. Uh, I often arrive early to the work and I never cook in my house. Ooh. Okay, next, Manuel. Uh, Glenda Ortiz. Glenda was the first one. Yeah, verdad. Really. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Escobar. Okay, Johnny. Okay. I always have to take a shower in the morning. I sometimes send the email. He, I rarely have vacation in my work. Okay. Next, Johnny. Uh, the next is. Dun, 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 dun. Is Edgar Garcia. Okay, I never go to the beach. Uh, often listen to music in my work. Okay, next, Edgar. Um, Ana Maria. I often watch movies and I sometimes read at night. Good. Next. Oscar. Very good. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I prefer not to answer the phone when I'm driving. I never heard you on purpose. Okay. Next. And Jocelyn. Okay, um, I rarely eat bread at breakfast and I never forget my cell phone when I go to work. Okay, next. Uh, Diana. I think Diana is, is busy. Somebody else? Ivan. I hardly ever work over time. He, I often receive calls of from clients. Okay. Next, Ivan. Yeah. Mm, Deodane. Okay, her son. I always turn on the computer in the morning. I sometimes go to the supermarket. 
Next. Next. Uh, Blanca. I often visit a doctor. I'm early, early, even rest on Monday. Okay. Next, Blanca. Josue Valmore. Okay. Yes. I often drink orange juice in the morning. I never eat. I never take my lunch in the office. Okay. Who's busy? Fernando and Celia. Fernando? Hola. Hola. I always get up early. I never listen to music at work. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, let's see. If you see the question to ask about the frequency is how often, okay? If you want to know about the frequency of an activity, you ask how often do you, for example, have meetings? How often do you have meetings? Let me ask, Okay. Um, here. What about you, Josue? So I'm going to write the name, Josue Balmore. How often do you have meetings, uh, Josue? I have a meeting uh, once a week. Josue? Has meetings once a week. Okay. Um, how can we make this sentence with a uh, frequency adverb? People, ¿cómo le podríamos poner un frequency adverb a nice oración? I have a monthly meeting. No, a frequency oh, hour. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. usually. usually. Well, what is usually, Jose, or always? Uh, usually. Usually, okay. Jose, usually meetings once a week okay now let me ask to um oscar what about you oscar how often do you have meetings Oscar? Me too. Yeah, me too. Once a week. Okay. Oscar. Has meetings. Oh, usually, always, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes and once sometimes. a week. Okay. Has meetings. Oscar sometimes has meetings. Finally, let me ask to uh, Johnny. What about you, Johnny? Hi. How often do you have meetings? 
uh, always always has meeting once a week on Monday. Okay, Johnny always has meetings once a week on Monday. Okay, now, first thing you are going to do is to write five questions here. You're going to add five questions. How often do you have meetings? How often do you write reports? How often do you check your email? How often do you, I don't know. Use your imagination, okay? To write more questions, five questions. Then you are going to interview three different classmates to ask the six questions. So first I will give you five minutes only to write five questions. Then I will send you to working groups or in pairs to ask one classmate we interview one classmate with your questions. Then we are going to change to another classmate to continue asking the questions, okay? So first, please five minutes to write five more questions. Go ahead. Write five more questions. Five minutes only. Finish your questions, please raise your hand.
No, es que... Otra vez. Vámonos a la mierda. <ríe> Ey, vámonos ya, me digo. Qué mm. que nos tenemos que ir. Puta, me. Es Spanish. <ríe> Yo creo que es francés. <ríe> ya se me quitó el sueño. <ríe> Ese sí es mi idioma. Escuché <risa> palabras de inspiración. Poemas. <risa> Quiero ver quién se puso rojo. Vamos a ver. No negative ah, sentence. Ah, ya, ya. <risa> ya vi quién fue. <risa> Rodrigo. <risa> Now I'm going to put you in groups to start asking each other, okay? Okay, go to your groups and ask your questions to your classmate and Take note of their answers.
Okay. Well, tomorrow we are going to check your work. Okay. And also, we are going to continue with other classmates. So let's take the last attendance of the night. Please turn on your cameras and respond. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Okay. Marcela Siu. Present. Good. Andrea Ortiz. Present. Perfect. Blanca Tunaca. Present. Diana López. Edgar García. Presente. Fernando Figueroa. Presente. Person de Odanes. Presente. Glenda Ortiz. Present, teacher. Perfect. Irma Flores. Iván Castillo. Present. Johnny Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jocelyn Ramirez. Present. Okay. Manuel Mena. Present. Miguel Romero. Present. Oscar Molina. Present teacher. Rafael Martinez. Rodrigo Hernández. Mm -hmm. Y Josué Cruz. Present. Okay, people, that's all for today. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, good people. Night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Who's Edgar? Don't go. Hi teacher, aquí estamos. Este okay, Edgar. Eh, ese es sobre algo que yo no haya eh, tratado de, de entender, ¿verdad, teacher? Eso es. Sí, sí, tiempo para. Vaya, fíjese que duda. he tenido problemitas con esta que ya, ya, ya la vimos. Él dice time expression for regular activity every day, every week. Every month, every year. Creo que allí ando deficiente, teacher. No, no muy bien me quedó claro esa clase, creo. Vale, ahorita vamos. Permítanme buscarla. Eh, porque usted pronunciaba monthly. Uh -huh. Y quiero ver qué otras habían expresiones. Month, o sea. Esa clase, esa cabal es. ¿Verdad? Sí, dicha. Okay. Bueno, esto dice son time expressions for regular activity. ¿Ya? Expresiones de tiempo para hablar de actividades regulares o actividades que hacemos regularmente. Sí. ¿Ok? En diferentes <coughs> formas. Una es every day. I check my email every day. Yo reviso mi correo electrónico cada día. ¿Cómo decir cada día o cómo decir todos los días? También eh, puedo decir every week. Es eso. Every week, cada semana. Go to church every week. 
voy a la iglesia cada semana. Every month. Yes. I pay the bills every month. Pago mis facturas, mis recibos cada mes. Every year. Algún ejemplo de every year. I celebrate the the nativity natividad every year every year. Okay. I celebrate Christmas. Christmas. I don't know. Every. Aplica esa 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 frase sí. Celebro Navidad cada año. Otras expresiones son daily. Eso es. Significa diariamente. Ana cleans the office daily. Ana limpia la oficina diariamente. Weekly. Semanalmente. They go shopping weekly. Ellos van de compras. Monthly, mensualmente. Supervisor visits the company monthly. Supervisor visita la compañía mensualmente. Una, una pregunta, teacher. Este, esas expresiones siempre van al final del, de, la, de la oración. Preferiblemente. Esa es la forma correcta, como debería de de colocarse. Pueden ir al principio también. Mm -hmm. Estas, por ejemplo, pueden ir al principio. Every day I check my email. Ah, ok. Eso es lo que significa. Ah, pues me acuerdo que le pedimos que hicieran oraciones. Oraciones, correcto. ¿Me puedes decir alguna actividad que haces every day? Uh, I, I, I shake the messages, uh, WhatsApp, every day. Ok. Sí. Es el de, 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 de mes. Um, en, 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 en el mes, ¿verdad? The mes, el mes, teacher. Every month. Every month. Every month. Sí. I... Mm, quiero ver. I... I... I go to the, the cinema. Every month. Okay. Sí. Weekly. ¿Cuál, perdón? Weekly. Weekly. Ah, oh, okay. I go to the. I go to the. I go to the. Marker weekly. Okay. <laughs> yes. Me pone ese bien, bien. A veces me, me, me confundo bastante, fíjese, teacher. Porque eh, no sé si, si, si me va a comprender, pero va, por ejemplo, la de arriba, every day, every week every month, every year, a veces pienso que tiene la misma, el mismo significado que esas tres, de las que están, daily, weekly y monthly. Sí. Tienen sí. algo de... Es diferente forma de decir lo mismo. 
de expresar. Ah, ok. Es, a eso quería llegar. Si era la, la misma forma de poderme expresar. Y otra, este teacher, es de que el, el so much, ¿se acuerda? Y el how much. Yo, teacher, este, eh, quizás, quizás allí como, como una vez usted dijo, a que era el team marín en, en esas expresiones, sino que trato de, inter, de interpretarlo con lo que quiere decir tal vez la oración, dependiendo de lo que, lo que, lo que de entender la, 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 la oración, fíjese, teacher. Sí. How many, how much. Uh -huh. Ese era otro de los puntos claro. que... Pero tiempo. prestándole una gran atención a usted en la clase, este, eso sí no lo había comprendido cuando es plur, plural, sí, ¿verdad? Y cuando es singular. Y cuando la palabra da a entender eh, cantidad, ese era otra, eso nunca lo había percibido o comprendido de esa forma. How many es para... Uh... Cosas contables, pero sobre todo eh, hablemos mejor para enredarnos mucho. Uh -huh. Expresiones en plural. How many hours, how many days, how many weeks, how many years, how many bananas, how many oranges. Siempre se usa con su plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How much usualmente son con sustantivos que no tienen plural. Hay medida de tiempo. Esa es la mayor diferencia de how much. Sí, sí, entiendo ahí. ¿Algo más, Edgar? No, solamente, teacher, tenía esas dos, esas dos clases que, que sí este, trataba de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De comprenderlas, pero aquí ya me, ya me dejó más claro la... La, 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 lo, de, lo de la clase perfecto ok, sería todo entonces le agradezco teacher Night. no problem thank you Because estamos siempre la hora. Okay. ok, feliz noche, gracias muy amable Night. bye bye